Milford is a great little city on the shoreline in Connecticut. Did you know there's several distinct areas included in Milford? I spoke about Devon a couple weeks ago, but today I'm going to talk about wonderful Woodmont. Hi, I'm Stacy Olson with the Valentini team at William Ravis Real Estate, and on my channel, I'm going to teach you everything you need to know about living on the Connecticut shoreline. So let's get started. Woodmont is the easternmost part of Milford. It is bordered by West Haven to its east and by Long Island Sound on the south. So it has plenty of shoreline. Woodmont is actually one of nine boroughs in the state of Connecticut. So what's a borough? Basically, they work with the government closely in the city of Milford to provide services such as road maintenance, snow plowing, and street lighting, things like that. And there is a yearly assessment for people that live in the borough of Woodmont, above and beyond what you would normally owe your city taxes. So my number one thing what's great about Woodmont is Anchor Beach. It is really, really beautiful. So obviously it's right on Long Island Sound, but there's a long walking path boardwalk along the way, and there's all these rock outcroppings and small little islands that are in the sound that are right there. It really makes for a truly beautiful area. The one negative thing is there's not a lot of parking down there. There is a small lot for Milford residents if you have a beach sticker, but when I say small, I mean it's small. Maybe 15, 20 cars can fit there, and there's not a ton of street parking. As I was driving around, I noticed there was no parking here, no parking there. So you really have to kind of park further to walk down to enjoy Anchor Beach if you don't have the beach sticker. But if you live in Woodmont very close, obviously this is amazing because there's a lot less people there and you can just walk down to the beach yourself to enjoy the beautiful scenic views. The Fanny Beach Community Center is also located in Woodmont right up the road from Long Island Sound. They are home to the literacy volunteers of Southern Connecticut. So what is this organization? They are a nonprofit that has been building literacy skills in the greater Milford and Stratford area for over two decades with quality programs for both local adults and children. So if you live in this area, it's a great opportunity for you to volunteer to help out your local community. Another thing the literacy volunteers do is they host the annual Leprechaun Leap right here in Milford. And obviously this is around St. Patrick's Day, so they just had it not that long ago. And it's a fundraiser for them to help support this literacy program. Another thing that the Fanny Beach Center does is they hold camps. Like I know that they're doing one currently for something called Food Explorers. And it's a really neat idea. It's an interactive cooking class with young children where they kind of ignite that passion for cooking and healthy food. And there is a registered dietitian that leads it. And it just allows them to explore new foods in like a low pressure, but fun educational environment. And a little side note, there's something called the Woodmont Borough Hall. And when I was there at the Fanny Beach Center, I noticed it. I didn't even know it was there. I guess it was, um, it used to be a fire station, but they converted it now into this event and wedding space. So if you live right in that area, you can rent it out for a function if you would like, but it was really cute and quaint and I noticed it right away. So I had to include it in this video. Also in Woodmount is the Truby Doolittle Park. And it's just a small park. It has a basketball court and a little playground, but it's right on the sound. I mean, what's better than that when you're playing or waiting with your kids while they play and you have this beautiful view. It's really amazing. They also host uh, Woodmont Day there every year, which is starts with like a 5k run around the local neighborhoods and there's beach yoga and there's a parade, there's music and games throughout the day. So again, that's another benefit of living in Woodmont. Also notable in this area is Robert Tree Farm. It's a family owned farm and farm market that has been cultivating this land since 1639. I know, that's amazing. 
It's an open air setting. They have a New England barn there. They host a farmer's market. There's a garden center. I mean, people come from around to go there because it truly is beautiful and they have a lot to offer. There's also a little shopping plaza down there that people around here call the Adams Plaza. And it has pretty much everything you could possibly need if you needed to run out for a quick trip. So they do have an Adams, which is a local IGA grocery store. It's small, but you know what? It has everything you need. There's also a subway there, a card store, a liquor store, a pizza place, a Dunkin' Donuts, of course, uh, a barber shop, Chinese food, a nail salon, a bakery. There's a DQ there. I mean, literally it has everything you could possibly want and a gas station. So if you live in that area, it's super convenient because you don't have to drive all the way down to the post road to get all your necessities. Because you know, DQ is a necessity. There's some great restaurants down in Woodmont too. I'll start off with Oak Bistro. This place is a great little spot, super close to the water, and it's known for its amazing chicken sandwiches. And they have a huge outdoor patio where you can enjoy your dinner. Another one, kind of across the street is Bonfire Grill. This is a great spot for what they call elevated beach fare. So it's like burgers and sandwiches, but another great spot to visit if you're in town. And lastly, Village Bistro at Beach House. This has amazing tapas, seafood and steak, and a bonus, they have a wine bar. Come on, I like a good wine bar. So I think Woodmont is quite wonderful, don't you? But if you're still not sure if Woodmont's right for you, but you like Milford, check out this video where I talk about what Milford has to offer because it is a great little city.